Hey guys, uh, yeah, in this video I'm just going to show you something that doesn't happen all that often, but uh, you might come across it in your uh, recording endeavors. Um, so yeah, w so what happened is we've got a guy asking us to do some recording just as vocals over top of some uh, some tracks that he supplied. And the tracks are already mastered. So when I was kind of when I was finishing the final product I had to try and blend our uh cleanly recorded vocals to blend and match the already mastered tracks that he supplied us. So I've done kind of you know quite a bit of trial and error and I've sort of found a way to sort of you know deal with with that uh, with that challenge so I'll, I'll show you just the beats so you can get a good idea of what I was saying uh, of, uh, about being pretty much fully mastered So yeah, it's almost clipping, like it's almost hitting the zero. You can hear it's quite, it's quite well mastered. It's got uh, plenty compression, limiting EQ, all done, like very well done. And so, um, yeah, so I had to try and match what we had recorded to that kind of quality. Um, I'll show you just the vocals now. So this is all the vocals. Um, I'll just take off all the effects. This is all the the chorus vocals, the verse vocals, and the doubling vocals. Sit back, take a look at life, ain't it amazing? Ocean man of views, I think I'm staying. Every moment, cherish, no time I'm wasting. Mucho dinero, success is what I'm tasting. Sit back, take a look at life, ain't it amazing? Ocean man of views, I think I'm staying. Every moment, cherish, no time I'm wasting. Mucho dinero, success is what I'm tasting. Just land in a pub. So they're fairly well recorded, like nice and clear. We used a compressor while recording, a uh, outboard compressor. So that sort of helped add that um, final touch, so to speak. So it's already somewhat compressed, ready for the final product. Um, so now, yeah, I'll just show you what I did to the vocals themselves. So in the chorus and in the verses, and in the backups, I've I've had the same thing, just a standard gate, um, a vintage compressor, and then a vintage EQ. And the backup vocals, which is these two channels here, I've panned hard left on this one and panned hard right on this one. So that gives it a nice sense of space. And because they're two different channels, it kind of adds like a phasing effect. So that works really well. And then I added a shuffler, which also, because they're already uh, hard panned, the shuffler blends that panning quite nicely. And it actually gives it just a little bit more depth as well. So now I'll give you the vocals uh, with and without. So I'll mute that and I'll start without. Sit back, take a look at life, ain't it amazing? Ocean man of views, I think I'm staying. Every moment, cherish, no time I'm wasting. Mucho dinero, success is what I'm tasting. Sit back, take a look at life, ain't it amazing? Ocean man of views, I think I'm staying. Every moment, cherish, no time I'm wasting. Mucho dinero, success is what I'm tasting. So it sounds kind of squashy, kind of maybe not so good and on its own that's that would be correct um i'll show you with the uh 
the sends. So there's a bunch of reverbs and choruses and stuff and some delays. Uh, there's a <laughs> quite a, a wealthy supply of them. There's yeah a doubler delay. There's a chorus delay, a sort of a reverb that it adds sort of a widening. That's just kind of a name that I gave it. Um, the short verb, which is, I think I just used it on the vocals and it gave it more of a character. And then uh, parallel compression. And I think I used, let's see if I used parallel compression on here. No, so I just used the parallel compression on the vocals to give it more of a squashing and final product sound. Um, yeah, and this widening reverb I used on both the vocals right here, and that's quite a bit, and on the already mastered beats. So um, what that did was it kind of put the two sounds, the pre-mastered track and the vocals in the same room, and I chose that specific reverb because it wasn't too harsh and it didn't um, add too much to what was already mastered. And I added only minus 29, which is quite, uh, quite low. So you can probably just barely hear it. And then I've also added the, uh, the short verb quite a bit, a lot of um, parallel compression to the vocals and then a, a doubler delay and a chorus delay and that gave it more more depth so to speak so with all the effects actually I'll take all of them off again sit back take a look at life ain't it amazing ocean man of you I think I'm staying hold on here so that's without the effects but the sends are still on so here's without the sends Sit back, take a look at life, ain't it amazing? Ocean man of views, I think I'm staying. Every moment, cherish, no time I'm wasting. Mucho dinero, success is what I'm tasting. Sit back, take a look at life, ain't it amazing? Ocean man of views, I think I'm staying. Every moment, cherish, no time I'm wasting. Mucho dinero, success is what I'm tasting. The second one was the all the inserts and all the sends as well so that you can hear is quite a bit of difference and it's sounds it's starting to sound more like a final product so the beats with the widener reverb um and the vocals as they are was pretty good except i needed also the vocals to uh give every time the vocals came in i wanted it to take a small chunk of space away from the beats. So what I've done was I've triggered the vocals, uh, send, I've sent the vocals to trigger right here. That is the compression, this tube compressor, vintage tube compressor. So I'm side chaining uh, to the already master tracks from the vocals and every time the vocals come in what, it, what it's doing is every time the vocals come in it gives a little bit of space for the vocals to sit in so that would make it sound a little bit more like they weren't recorded separately and were not mastered separately so that's kind of what I was going with that and this compressor specifically I was allowed to or I was able to use this little mix function and I wanted something with the mix function because if I was going 100%, um, then it would take away from the beats too much and I would lose that punch. So I just decided to blend it with this one here. And this one also gave it a slight bit of character, which sounded quite good. So yeah, enough with all the babbling. I'll give you <laughs> um, a version. I'll start right here. I'll give you without any effects, without any sends, and then halfway through I'll add all the, uh, the compressors and all that nonsense, and all the sends as well. So this is without, without anything. So 
with the inserts. All the scents. So there you go. And one last thing that I did was on the two bus. So on the master bus, I've also added. Oh boy. There we go. I've also added. Um, actually, let's do this. Oops. Oh boy. There we go. I've also added a uh, solid bus style compressor. And here I'm only. What am I doing? I have a really high threshold here, so it's almost barely going to do anything. But I'm also adding a little bit of volume. And then I'm also doing very tiny amounts of uh, limiting. So whatever is going to be passing this minus 0.2 threshold is going to be cut off. And then I have a, a set release time, which will hopefully um, help the overall sound. Sit back, take a look at life, ain't it amazing? Ocean mountain views, I think I'm staying. Every moment, cherish, no time I'm wasting. Mucho dinero, success is what I'm tasting. Sit back, take a look at life, ain't it amazing? Ocean mountain views, I think I'm staying. Every moment, cherish, no time I'm wasting. So these last two, com uh, last two plugins are giving me that final... It sounded about like a half a dB to about one dB. I'm just squeezing that those last decibels out of this um, this final product here. And then with the limiter, I'm preventing it from going above the very typical uh, minus 0 0.02 or 0 0.01, whatever you want to do. And then I'm also using this to do the dithering. So... Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully this all makes sense to you. This is uh, by no means a tried, tested, and true <laughs> like professional way of doing things. I've actually not really looked into too much of this stuff, but this is kind of what I found worked for me, especially in this case. So yeah, hopefully this helps, and go and do this yourself see what you come up with and keep on making the music boys and girls and i'll catch you in the next one bye